Hey everybody, this is Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. I have got another huge palette, yay! I'm gonna unbox it and give you all the specifications. Okay, so I'm super excited. I just got to 41,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Um, my goal is to try to reach 50 by the end of this year, 2019. And so if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button, click the notification buttons. Anytime that I'm on or put out a new video, you know it's usually every day. And I also have fun Hooked on Pickin' merchandise like this shirt here, see, hookedonpickin.com. But anyway, let's get to the palette because we want to see what's inside. This is a bulk.com palette, has 75 items in it of men's shoes, kitchen appliances, women's shoes. Original retail is $6,447, uninspected returns. So who knows what kind of condition it's going to be in. Paid $340 for it. Shipping from bulk.com is always $200 flat rate. Tax was $16.47 for a total of $556.47, which makes each of the 75 items in this palette $7.42 per item. So let's go ahead and get in it. Usually when Bulk.com sends their palettes, there's always one side that's got kind of a carved out section, a little bit of a door to get in. So this is exactly how it looks when it comes off the truck. And so if you have not seen one of my Bulk.com palette deliveries, go ahead and check that out. Um, for those of you who wanted me to get a cordless mic, I tried it out. It didn't work the greatest, so I am corded again so you can hear every single word because I know you love my great commentary, right? All right, so then we're going to go ahead and get inside this one. So this one's a little bit dusty. I'm going to come around the back side, cut this open back here so that I can open the flaps, and then we will get inside this one. But you get the first look, just like I do, of this palette. And if you guys have suggestions of types of palettes that you've seen on liquidation sites that you think that I would be interested in getting, go ahead and check them out. All right, let's see what we got. So we're gonna flip this open. It is packed to the brim. So like I was saying, if you have suggestions of ones I should open, go ahead and let me know what you would be interested in seeing me unpack because I definitely would like to get into some new things. So remember this is supposed to be men's shoes, women's shoes. So I see a lot of shoe boxes. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna set it on the table and then give you guys a better look at it. So this is clearly going to be probably a pair of shoes. And so, oh, those are cute. So really cute kind of black suede shoes. Here's another pair of shoes. It's taped together. Let me get this opened for you. So the nice thing is these boxes are in much better condition than some. I just opened a box, um, a pallet with uh, some shoes in it and was really disappointed. Um, so I'm kind of glad to see these are in better shape. Ooh, look at this nice flatware set. Here's another pair of sandals we got. These are basically the brown version of those ones. Ooh, they're so soft. Very comfortable. Ooh, here's men's shoes. Men's shoes sell super fast for me on my Poshmark platform. So let's see what these are. Ooh, those are nice. Look at those. So really, really nice um, men's dress shoes, kind of dress boots. And El Dolfo, Adolfo, I think is what how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some loafers there. Henry Ferreira. If you're interested in any of these, go ahead and check out my Poshmark store because they'll probably already be posted on my Poshmark store by the time this video goes out. I hope if it's not, then shoot me a message at hookedonpickin.com. Um, we can always uh, sell direct from there as well. So if you ever can't find anything, feel free to shoot me a message. Some Velcro, kind of comfortable cushiony shoes. Oh, these are so cute. 
Look at those. Are they my size? No, they're not. Sad face. <laughs> size nines, I believe. They look smaller than nines, but probably because of the wedge heel on them. All right, I'm going to come over to this side. I'm running out of table space on that one. Here are some men's. Those look comfortable. Henry Ferreira. Nice dress shoes, but they look like they're a little bit more comfortable than the typical dress shoe. Here is, okay, now that we're done with a lot of the shoes, this is a progressive microwave dish. Uh, miracle wear microwave freezer and dishwasher safe. Let's see what it actually is. It's like a little cook your bacon or something. So it's like a microwave dish. So that's kind of cool. Two of those. I'm just going to do this. Two of those. Those are kind of nifty and neat. Some Cuisinart flatware set. All right, an automatic sensor trash can. Um, if you watch my second video, I will be making a second video that um, shows anything that I find that's broken. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to you about the various different platforms that I plan on selling a lot of this stuff. So this is an automatic sensor trash can. It looks like it's unopened. I will definitely do better inspection to make sure, but that looks really cool. All right, what else we got going on here? A five-piece salad bowl kit. The bottom of the box is a little bit boogered up, so let's, let's see what the actual bowls look like. Okay, it's got one little piece of tape here, but the bottom's already opened. Okay, doesn't look cracked or anything. So, just a little bit of box wear damage. Oh, here's a pasta maker. Pasta la mia. I don't know what I'm even singing, but that's what they always say when you make pasta, evidently. At least that's what I think they always say. So, pasta maker. The biggie here is making sure it's not been used because it's shocking how many things I get in a bulk box that's not used. It looks actually brand new. So, that I'm excited about. So it, the box does look retaped, so I'm definitely going to do some more deeper inspection on that. This is, <laughs> I think it's hilarious. This is a suit. <laughs> this is how they, they packaged it. I don't know why they did that, but it's really funny. So this is actually a Brave Men suit. Let me see if I can get this untaped without actually ripping this suit. So... Be careful. Tell me to be careful. Start yelling in the comment section. Be careful. All right, ready? One, two, three, and go. Ta-da! It's a blue suit. It is a 40 regular, 34 waist. So, look at that. Sharp. Nice blue suit. Get some blue suede shoes. Because I've sold like purple shoes and all that kind of stuff. You actually have blue suede shoes right now. Do I have blue? I do have blue suede shoes on Poxmark. Check out my blue suede shoes. All right. This is a GHD Platinum Professional Performance Styler. Looks like a flat iron. Yep. Ooh, look at that one. Fancy. So fancy. So we'll have to see if I can sell that one. All right, mystery box. All right, what's in it? It's kind of heavy. I'd say maybe five pounds, three pounds. All right, we're gonna set it here. Mystery box, okay? You have to tell me what's in it. All righty. More shoes, it looks like, in this one. Oh, here's a pair of those same sandals that we opened first box. Probably a different size. All right, what else is in here? A night Rider. Oh my word, this is heavy. <laughs> okay, it's basically a scooter, like a Razor scooter. It's electric. Electric, nice. 
We'll have to see if it works. Watch video number two. We're gonna see if it works. And if it works, I'm gonna ride it around. <laughs> I will break myself. But if it works, I'm gonna ride it around. Unless it's totally the brand new packaging because then I don't wanna damage it and I'm gonna resell it. So, you know, you gotta make money on this stuff. But if it's been opened already, I'm totally gonna ride it around. So, so I don't know what I want better. Do I get to ride it or do I get to sell it? I wanna sell it. All right. Oh my word. It's an NFL team gnome. Of the, is that the Cowboys? That's Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys. You want a Dallas Cowboys gnome? You know you do. You know you long for the Dallas Cowboys. Perfect time of the year to be selling NFL stuff. All right. Another pair of shoes. I'm going to go over here on this table here. I have room. Taped. Yeah, they're brand new. Look at those. Those are kind of cool. They're Velcro, but they're kind of trendy looking. Very trendy. And I have another pair of sandals over here that are just like the tan ones we initially got. So here's another pair of those. Box is kind of beat up, but kind of looks like a generic box. They just put it in. All right, what in the world? Ready, set, duct tape. Somebody got a little crazy with the duct tape. Okay, I'll put this over here. Can we do another mystery box? Mystery box. It's kind of opened. You get a peek. I have no idea what that is. But it's super duper heavy. What's in it? What is it? Who's going to get it right? Who is going to get it right? All right. Gas grill cover. Tan one, box is all beat up. But we'll have to check and see if that grill cover is intact. That'll be probably an eBay just because of the condition of the box. Um, here are some filters. So a lot of times if the filter packaging is all messed up, I've got a contractor friend of mine that I go to church with that sometimes gets some of my old filters um, because the middle ones are usually really good, but the outside ones are kind of boogered up and they usually sell in packs of four. But if they're in really good condition, I actually do sell those online. So. Uh, here's another set of little baby ones. These are in much better condition. All right, here's some more of those microwavable dishes. Well, just one. We're getting in there, slowly eating our way to the bottom. So, ooh, I've got some friends. I think these are pet beds. I got a friend that wants one. All right. The perks of being hooked on Pickens friend means you get first dibs usually. Well, I don't know. You guys are all my friends, so you get first dibs pretty much too. A lot of you actually buy direct off the video before I even have stuff listed. There's another pair of those black sandals. All right, what else we got in here? We got some curtains, blackout curtains with gr really nice grommets on them. So, and they're still in the original packaging with the barcode, so I'm excited about that. Let's see what else we got. What is this? Some sort of a travel, travel bag. Safe Plus. Hmm, maybe a baby item? You guys know what Safe Plus is, travel bag? Let me know. Set that there. Here is another one. This looks like a duffel bag. Pet carrier. It's a pet carrier with the little windows. One of those duffel bag pet carriers. Dream tent. Put that in there. Alrighty. Look at this. Here's some uh, pants. They're like workout pants, multiple different colors of women's workout pants. So this is definitely a variety pack palette for sure. I think it's Groupon. Groupon? It's a Groupon palette.
Ooh, Toms. These are pretty popular shoes. So this is a size nine. Black Toms, look at the inside, they're cute. All right, yeah, these are size nine. I'm gonna put these over here by the shoes. Then let's see what else we got in here. Lady Godiva. This better be a giant box of chocolates, like a huge Hershey bar, right? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? A huge Hershey bar? If it's a huge Hershey bar. <laughs> I was going to say I'm not going to eat it. I was going to say I'm going to eat it, but I don't know. It's been in a pallet. I'm not sure that would be safe. Oh, such a letdown. They are cute shoes, though. They are called Lady Godiva Red Sandals. Those are cute. They are size 8. Don't eat these sandals. I don't think they'll taste very good. All right. Pet bed. Serta. It's a Serta pet bed. So your pets can sleep well. That's a big old pet bed. Where should I put this? I'm going to put it way back here because I have room. All righty. What else we got in here? Another pet bed. A pink one with gray fur, fuzzy fur on it. So if you're interested in a lot of these things, hookedonpicking.com is gonna be where you're gonna find a lot of it. Unless I can send it into Amazon, and I only send it into Amazon if it's in pristine condition. All right, Gino Vitale shoes. These are always the real fancy ones. Ooh, look, you get your own pair of socks. Those are fancy ones, wing-tipped. You know you want some wing-tipped fancy shoes. All right, let's see what else we got here. Here's a pair of academics. Oh, those are nice. Some gray loafers, dress shoes. Super duper nice. All right, I'm making room for all my stuff. This is, says, lavish home. Not sure what's in it. Ooh, it's a mystery box. We're gonna open this one though. I already teased you with those two. What's in those two, you guys know? I gave you a peek into one of them. Let's see what is in this one. Hmm. Silver pole, some pieces of stuff. <laughs> You're gonna die when you find out what's in here. It's a fancy toilet brush. That's right, folks. A fancy toilet brush. You know you need a fancy one of these. It is clean, it's not been used. Otherwise <laughs> that'd be gross if I was touching it. But yes, it's a fancy toilet brush with a little holder. I guess you mount it on the wall or something? Look, I'm gonna put the whole thing together, hold on. I'm having fun with my fancy toilet brush. And then this is a magnet or a wall thing or whatever. There you go, fancy toilet brush. <laughs> but you never thought that's what it was. All right. It's an $80 toilet brush. You will sell for $3.99. $3.99 for sale. $80 toilet brush. All right. Fancy toilet brush. All right. Henry Ferreira shoes. Ooh, those are fancy. Brand new. I'm running out of space for all my stuff. Look at all my awesome stuff. All right, <laughs> this box has seen better days. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's see if the, the actual shoes inside of it have lived. 
There's one shoe. It's kind of smushed a little bit. So low. They're pretty flexible shoes. They look pretty good. Considering the box is really eaten up, they're in pretty good shape. Oh man. It's a bidet. I mean a bidet. On one of my videos I called it a bidet and I was crucified by all my comment YouTube comments. But that's okay. <laughs> I couldn't read evidently. This is a bidet. A bio bidet. Water simple bidet. Aren't you excited that I pulled out a bidet? I really hope it's not used because that's nasty. Seventy-five items. Sip, simple, easy, affordable. All right. What else we got in here? This is um, how hang on. Oh, you hang your TV on it. It's like a TV a wall mount. Yeah, wall mount, stud hanger thingy. Some more filters, larger size. These are 20 by 20 by one. All right, let's see. What is, what is this red thing? Is it another article of clothing? I think it is. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was a red suit? Like bright cardinal red. I'm gonna try not to stab myself. All right. What is it? Oh, sad face. It's just curtains. Blackout curtains. I was really hoping. Wouldn't it be awesome if this was a red suit? They need to make one of those. All right. Brave men make a red suit. All right. Here's some more filters. Um, another gas grill cover in a much better box situation. So this is definitely an Amazonable one because look at the nice pristine prettiness of the box. This makes me happy. The little things in life. All right, what else we got? Here is some more blackout curtains, dark brown color. Some more shoes, got a couple sets. I'm just gonna pull some over here. We're gonna go over our little shoe table we got going on over here. So as you can see, not much more left we got going on. Make myself some working room here. All right. Slip on sandals. Blue ones. It's your color. Yes, it is. Those are cute. And what is in this one? Ferroni, Gino Ferroni. I'm probably butchering that name, but okay. They come in their own little bags. Look, so fancy. Ooh, those are nice. I think they're called Chucka Boots. Calvin 10. Calvin must be the style, size 10. There you go, size 10s. And we got some bath mats, some cream colored bath mats here. Just gonna set them down here since they're a little bit larger in size. A little cushion. I think these are like for between your knees when you sleep or whatever. For lower back pain. Let's see, what is this? This is a, this bag is not a toy, just so you know. Um, I think it's a curtain. Yeah, it looks like a curtain. All right, don't forget our mystery boxes. <gasps> Look, we have another one. Mystery box. So we got three mystery boxes that we will be opening in the future. All right, what's in here? 
another pair of shoes. I love all these shoes and the fact that they're in really good condition helps. I love men's shoes because it sells really fast for me. I do not hang on to men's shoes very long. Some Henry Ferreira kind of nice loafers there. Here is a brown pair. I put these red guys, burgundy red guys away here. So I have another spot. There is a lot in this box. All right. Oh, there's some brown. Those are nice, sharp looking chuck -a boots. I think they're called chuck -a boots. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have been known to be wrong lots and lots of times. All right. You're it jumped. Dropper. I'm a dropper. It jumped. Look, it's still fine. Let me put it in there and keep it for safekeeping. All right. There's a pair of Gino Vitalis. At least they're not going crazy on the tape. They're using little pieces of tape to close these boxes. Ooh, look at those. So just like those black ones we pulled out earlier, but they're obviously not black. They're brown. All right. Garment steamer. This would be perfect for my Poshmark stuff. If I wasn't lazy and didn't want to steam it. No, we'll have to check this out for sure. Make sure all the parts are there for the garment steamer. So far, I've been really pleased with the condition of the things in this box. I have sold x-ray shoes before. A pair of really cute tennis shoes. Those are really cute. Kind of have a honeycomb design on the side of them. Little sneakers. Set those there. My precarious pile. All right, we've got some TV mount system. That's clearly not resellable because it's not in the original box. Um, here is some more um, blackout curtains. These look like they're kind of a charcoal gray. We've got um, travel pup seat cover for your car. So more pet stuff, which works, which sells very fast for me, surprisingly enough. Here is another pasta maker. Exactly like the first one, right? Yeah, just like the first one. I'm running out of room on my tables. All right, let's see what else. we got some fabric in here. Here is a suit. Quality Maxell clothing. Uh, this is a trench coat. Let's see. A backpack. And here is another suit. A tan colored one. Oh, the size is not right on the front. Let me look real fast. This one is a 50 regular 44 waist. That's a sharp looking suit. You might be keeping this one. <laughs> All right. Now we've got some random, if you want to come over here and look, we've got some random like humongo boxes in here that we'll have to see what they are. Um, let me see, this is a, this is a mat, like a floor mat for like your kitchen floor. So we'll move that out of the way. Um, but let's see what's in these random boxes. Total mystery. Total mystery. What do you guys think are in there? Let's open up a few of them and then we're gonna save some. So this one's pretty light. All right, what's this one? I'm probably opening the bottom. <laughs> you shall not pass. Oh, okay, more filters. 20 by 25 by one filters. See? So those are in great condition. Those are for sure resellable. Some of these other ones that have a little bit of denting on them, I try not to resell. All right, what's this one? This is heavy. It says glass lock on the top. Uh, 
Oh, it's like Pyrex's glass lock is the name. Looks like there's some more underneath too. Those are nice. So we'll be looking those up for sure. Because those usually sell really well. All right, let's see what else is in these larger boxes. Uh, remember, we've got three mystery boxes over there. We're going to try to guess. This one says fragile. <laughs> okay, it says fragile. And they stuck it at the bottom of the pallet. Because <laughs> that's what you do when the box says fragile. We're going to stick it at the bottom of the pallet. Okay. Been taped like crazy. It's a pots and pans set from Rachel Ray. Well, it looks like it's in great condition. Fragile probably because of the glass lids. The biggie is making sure that all the pieces and parts are here. Um, the nice thing is this is this is with it, but I don't know what a whole set is. So we'll do some investigating and I'll be able to, this will probably go on eBay because it doesn't have the original box. And so it'll either go on hookedonpicking.com. So check that out or it'll go on eBay. So, um, and then watch my second video. I'm going to give you a total uh, number reveal on how much I think I can make out of this whole thing. Good night. This is heavy. Costway. I'm just going to climb in here and open it in here rather than trying to drag it out because it's really heavy. It's probably like a tent or something is my guess. Yeah, it's one of those, um, see it's got a, you can come around this way and see a little bit. It's got all the poles in it and all the structures or whatever. And it's one of those big, like kind of party tent deals. So I don't really want to open it any more than that. Cause I'll never get it back in the box. So what I want you to do is guess what those are on the table. Okay. Guess what those are on the table. And, um, and you will get a fun gift from me if you guess right. So I'm going to look and see who guesses right on those three boxes on um, and then they will be revealed on video too. So only if you guess the first day that this video comes out, will you get the opportunity to win something fun for me. So anyway, guess what's on those table. Remember, uh, if you want to find any of these items and you can't find them anywhere, check hookedonpicking.com, shoot me an email and, uh, I can let you know whether it's sold or not, or whether it's available. What is in this 75 item bulk.com palette and, um, See if, can I make my money after I have spent $556.47? So watch video number two. I'm actually going to go through each item, give you kind of a price and give you a ballpark of what I think that I can make very conservatively after fees and after all the shipping and stuff. So hopefully it's been helpful. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.